Okay, so today we target to complete these four topics. Uh, this is all about capital budgeting. So what's capital budgeting? When you say capital budgeting, it is, uh, to, uh, let me distinguish it from what we call operating expenditure, OPEX. So this is operating expenditure. A type of expenditure will, which will only benefit uh, one specific accounting period. And the other one is CAPEX, which is capital expenditure. No? Ang capital expenditure, ang impact nito sa company more long term as against OPEX operating expenditure, which will only benefit one specific period. For example, pag bumili ka ng um, a company invests in raw materials in the manufacturing in a manufacturing plant. The raw materials you know, are for that specific year. That's an example of OPEX or my uh, usual usual expenses, utilities, transportation. Those are what we call OPEX. On the other hand, cap capex are investments in long-term assets. For example, uh, property, plant, and equipment. Yung mga, those which will benefit more than one accounting period. For example, uh, pagbili ng, ng machine or ng equipment or pag invest sa computer, high-end computer, the, the uh, investment in a high-end computer will benefit not only one period but also, uh, but more than one period. Pwede three years, four years, five years, depending dun sa life of the asset. So that's what we mean by capital budgeting. So sa Excel, madali, ano, madali yung pag-compute ng, ng, ng uh, capital budgeting. But just remember that yung, yung mga kinoconsider natin, yung ina-analyze natin for capital budgeting are all cash flows. No? So if you see here sa model natin, cash flows to. Okay? We do not model net income. No? Not net income, not net income after tax. Hindi, no? I mean, model natin, cash flows. Okay, kasi sa finance nga, the focus is on cash. Cash is king tayo sa finance. Eh. <laughs> okay, so suppose we have two projects here, Project Y and Project Z. Project Y and Project Z, sandali ah. Higyan ko nga po ng ano ng... para pwede ko siyang mamove ng konti. So, masyado na sa kanto. Yan. Alright. Project X, Project Y, and Project Z. Okay. You're given the cash flows here. Okay. Go dito. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> okay. Si Project, ano? Si Project Y. Uh, Sir, nakatype po po yung... Sorry? Nakatype po yung sa two. Sa years, sa time. Oh, okay, thank you. Buti na notice mo. Okay. Yung zero, naka-format siguro to. Anyway, basta zero yan, ano? Itong unang-una dito. Ayaw mag-git na. Ayaw mo naka-format. Anyway. <clears throat> so, may initial, itong red na to, yung naka-brackets. That's uh, naka-format lang yan. That's negative. That means outflow siya. Tapos, uh, ito yung cash flows niya. And then we have Project Z. May initial investment na <clears throat> one eight, And then the cash flows here. Now, just like, just like last time, we might be tempted to think na uh, we might be temp tempted to think na ay, i-add ko na lang siya. So, for example, if I add this, sum some of the uh, cash flows okay you might be tempted to think ay ito 1.88 1, 1. million yung cash in inflow niya ito naman 3 million so pag ninet ni net ko to if i add this to to initial investment na 1, 2, at saka itong 
188 na total. Okay. So we might think, ay, mas maganda si project, ano, project uh, Z, no? Diba? Ito yung NPV natin. Now, Angela, bakit mali ito? Why is this wrong to conclude such? Do you recall? It's i-add ay it's i-add ko sir. Kung bakit siya mali. Bakit mali yun? Inad ko lang to, itong mga cash inflows. Ito yung total nun. Sir, dapat hindi yung Sorry? inflow yung i-add. Dapat po kunin mo yung... You cannot add them kasi magkakaibang time frame sila, di ba? That violates the principle of uh, the cost of money. Um, di ba? Yes, one peso sir. after one year is not the same as one peso today. So we cannot add them. Kaya mali itong ginawa ko dito na inad ko lang siya para makuha 1.88. Sabi natin, the way to go about this is to get the present value. Present value. Kumangit mm -hmm. patuloy yung format dito. Anyway... So let's compute for the present values. Uh, sana hindi na lang ko pa lang binago yung, ano, yung format ko. So ito yung cash flows ni Project Y. I-bold ko lang lahat to para kita natin. Ito yung cash flows niya. We can convert it into present values. No? Uh, ang ano daw, ang cost of capital niya is 12.6%. It's this one. That's the required return. Okay, so dapat kumita yung business yung project ng 12.6% okay, para maging acceptable. So let's do this. Hello? Hello? Um, Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So sabi natin, in order to compute for the present value, uh, we can use the neg n uh, PV function. In negative natin para same pa rin yung sign as the uh, cash flows. Ang rate natin is 12.6%. I'm going to fix that, comma. N per natin is ito, 1, comma. PMT, this is not an annuity. So skip that. Future value is this cash flow. And then ignore the type. Okay, so ito yung ano natin, no? Ito yung present value ng cash flow natin. Yeah. So now we can add this. We can add this kasi naka-present value na sa lahat. No? So if I add this, add everything there. Tapos ano yung initial investment natin? Our initial investment is 1, 2. Yan. So we can now add both of these because they all belong to present values. This is the present value of your inflows. This is the present value of your outflows. So, if I add both, sum lang nitong dalawang to. There. So, NPV is, uh, <clears throat> is 159-856-856. So, it's positive. No? It's yes, positive. Sir. Therefore, we say that the project, the capital budgeting project is acceptable. Ang decision rule kasi, dapat yung NPV positive. Ibig sabihin, yung present value ng cash inflows should be greater than zero. Kasi nininet natin yung outflows against the inflows. Eh. And we learned before na may <coughs> formula niyan. Sa so Excel, may formula ng NPV. So you start with the rate. Yung tama. Before I do that, to refresh your memory, sabi natin, the NPV function returns the net present value of an investment based on a discount rate and a series of future. Mm -hmm. Future cash flows, no? So, pag sinabi natin future cash flows is equal to NPV, dapat yung sa year 1 magsisimula, no? So, ito, lahat, ito, future lahat to, no? Ito mga cash flows natin. Kasi year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4 to it. <clears throat> so, rate, and then values. Okay. Pero, kulang pa yan, no? Kasi dapat isama natin yung initial cash outflow. So, ipa-plus ko lang siya. And then we have, oops. A 
All right, we have the same <coughs> net present value. Mas shortcut to, diretso to, straightforward. Yes, sir. Ito naman, kailangan pala natin kunin yung present value. Okay, so kung hindi mo naman kailangan ipakita na yung present value of each year, then you can, okay, ano, you can uh, use this formula. So ganun din dito. Let's see if we can copy this formula. Okay, pwede kasi ay hindi. <coughs> Dapat gawin na natin to. It's equal to negative PV. Rate is at 12%. Again, let's fix this. N per is this. No PMT. Future value is this one. Okay. Don't, we don't need to fix that kasi ikakapin natin pababa. Okay. So, and then also the outflow is 1,800,000. Pala dapat natin to. Um, Add natin. Okay. So you notice that the present value of inflows is greater than the outflow. So okay pa rin tayo. Sum. Okay. So based on this, mas mataas yung net present value ni Project Z. Ni Project Z. Therefore, ang choice natin, Project Z. It's always the higher net present value. Okay, so ito yung choice natin. So uh, again, let's uh, let's do the one uh, one formula here: rate values. And then we add the initial investment, which is also this one. Voila. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we, dito pala, no? Dito pala. So limit ko na lang. Kasi nakompute na natin. So what's our recommendation? Recommendation is, ayun, ang recommendation, depende, no? Depende yan kung ano yung nature ng project na to. If this Mutually exclusive. Ano yung ibig mutually exclusive? Exclusive. Sabi niyo mutually exclusive. Ang ibig sabihin mutually exclusive, pag pinili, isa lang pipiliin mo, no? Uh, you are you are choosing between the two of them. Kunyari, uh, bibili ka ng isang computer, Tapos pumipili ka between two options. Mutually exclusive yun. Mm. Okay. Then choose ano tayo? Choose? Project Z. Uh -oh. Choose Z. If they are independent, ibig sabihin, uh, you can choose both or, or all. No? If independent and no budget constraints, for example. Choose both. Choose both kasi pareho silang positive yung NPV. Kunyari kasi it will require an initial investment of 3 million, di ba? Kung wala naman budgetary constraints, edi parehong piliin. Pero kunyari ang budget mo, 2 million lang. Tapos independent sila, pero 2 million. May budgetary constraint ka. So you can only choose Project Z kasi hindi naaabutin yung ano, hindi nakakayanin yung 1 million 200. Unless ilo-loan mo siya. No? Unless yes, uh, maglo-long term financing ka. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's your that's your uh, uh, net, net present value NPV. Okay, there's another measure. Ito yun, profitability index which is just the sum of your cash flows, okay? Uh, this, the present value of your cash flows, cash inflows, at the, from year one, ano? So parang ito yung NPV ni, ni, ano, ni, uh, ni Excel without the, the uh, initial investment. And then, i-divide lang natin siya sa initial investment. 
Okay, so well, that's very easy. Kasi nakuha na natin price and value ng cash. Uh, cash inflows natin for project Z and project Y. A project Y, ito yun, di ba? Ito yung 1359. Tapos ang initial investment natin, 1, 2. Ginawa lang natin positive to compute for the profitability index. No? So this is your yes. profitability index. Control C para lang makita natin. Okay? And it's equal to simply the rate of your inflows over the outflows. Yeah. So this decision rule is, should be, for this to be acceptable, dapat greater than 1. Okay. Simple lang kasi dapat yung inflows natin, mas malaki sa positive uh, suppression value ng outflows. Okay, so let's divide this. Okay. So it turns out, uh, as expected, mas malaki kasi yung profitability project index of Project Z. Then, okay, we go with uh, we go with Project Z for mutually ex mutually exclusive. Ah. So again, that nandito same as above. No? Pareho dun sa this NPV. So since Project Z has a higher a profitability index, then okay tayo. Mas ano, mas, mas, uh, lagi bang, ano, lagi bang kung mataas yung NPV, mas mataas yung ano, yung profitability index. No, not necessarily. Kasi ito rin ratio na natin eh. So there's a possibility that mataas yung net present value ng isang project, pero mas mababa yung, yung profitability index niya. Kung ganun magko-conflict, ah, uh, uh, usually, depende sa management yun, pero usually, it will still be net present value kasi absolute value na yun eh, net present value. Ito kasi ratio lang. No? It's just the proportion of your inflows over the outflows. Okay, clear yun? Yes, po. Okay. Next, yung diniscuss na rin natin ito yung IRR. Internal rate of return. Sorry, sir. Wait lang na wala po yung screen share. Ah, nawala yung Yung sa screen ko. Ano, wala? Sige, wala. Yan, is it still there? Ano, wala, Angela? Hello? Ayan, okay na po. Okay na, sir. Okay. Sige. So, so far, we've looked at net present value. And then we look at uh, profitability index. Uh, tapos, yung in IRR na tayo ngayon. Okay, internal rate of return. So, si IRR, uh, simply lang din to, it looks at the rate of return of the project. May, pero may assumption dito sa IRR. Uh, assumption dito, whatever cash flow you can get, you're able to reinvest at the IRR. So nakakalito yung ano no, nakakalito yung statement na yon no. Uh, but let me explain uh, in a while. No? So and put NPV to. Okay, so we don't do this anymore kasi uh, dito lang tayo no. So may no chat ako dito. With this function, the cash flows need to be in time series order within the worksheet. Okay, tama nga naman. Time series siya, tuloy-tuloy na ganyan. So this is equal to IRR. Ang values natin, okay? Ang values natin kasama yung initial investment. So hindi ito, no? Kasama dapat yung initial investment. So we have to include the the time zero. Unlike yung ano, unlike sa NPV na hindi natin sinasama yung yes, initial investment. Okay, close this. Don't have to to guess. Enter. So the project Y has an IRR of 18.23. Si project Z naman. So this is project Z. There. Oh. So what do you notice? Yes, tama yung observation mo. So kung uh, if independent, uh, if uh, recommendations, if 
mutually exclusive choose what project why okay <laughs> wait uh, una no unang una are both projects acceptable yes sir why mm, positive hindi ha huh? hindi kasi laging positive yan it has to be compared uh, with WAC. Uh, okay. Compare natin sa cost of capital nila. Kasi, importanting weighted average cost of capital kasi that's the average cost to the company of acquiring funds. Okay? Of acquiring financing. So, ang, weight, ang weighted average cost of capital nila, yung K, yung discount, yan, project cost of capital, is 12.6. Okay. So, si project uh, y, 18.23 yung IRR nito. Si Z, <clears throat> 17.39. No? So both of them are greater than 12.6%. Which is, okay, the discount rate nila is equal to 12.6%. Okay, since both projects have IRRs greater than 12.6%, both are acceptable since IRRs are greater than the WAC, which is your K, the cost of capital. Nila. However, if they're mutual exclusive, you choose project Y. Diba? Bucket. Uh, because it has the higher uh, internal rate of return. Mas mataas yung internal rate of return ni, ano, ni Y. So pipili natin si Y. So note this, note. Uh, there's a conflict. No? Conflict between NPV and IRR results. May conflict siya. Mas mataas si mas mataas si uh, uh, sabi ni NPV, choose project Z. Sabi ni, ni uh, IRR, choose project Y. So how do we resolve this? Ikaw, Angela, Sir, what do you think? Sir, NPV, pardon? Mm -hmm, correct. Okay. Always choose NPV. If it conflicts with okay, always logging people in CNPV, but may conflict with IRR. Okay. Okay. Bakit kaya? Kasi mas theoretically, okay, theoretically, uh, NPV is uh, the more be nothing correct, no? method, theoretically. Kasi sa pag-compute mo ng, ano, ng, ng IRR, may assumptions na ginagamit dito. Okay. Sa pag-compute ng IRR, ang assumption dito, you are reinvesting, okay. kunyari si Project Y. So pag nakuha mo itong 420 na ito na cash flow, i-reinvest mo to, i-reinvest mo at 18.23%. Okay? Big sabihin, mas malaki yung mas malaki yung present value na makukuha mo. So, Tapos ganun din, lahat ng cash flows na to, you reinvest it at 18.23. So, gawin natin dito ha. Okay, let's do this here. So, is equal to negative PV. Rate natin is this one, 18.23. Fix natin. Kama. Uh, so, na ako. Uh, time to enter. Walang PMT. Future value is this one. Okay. So let me show you something here. Okay. So, ang ginawa natin dito, kinuha natin present value, but we're using 18.23. Eh? Dito, ano ginamit natin dito? Yung 12.6. Present value dito. Yeah, we're using the, we use the 12.6. So, yun ang difference ito, ah. Sa pag-compute dito ng 
net present value. So yung unang year natin dito, 373. Yung unang year natin dito, uh, sorry, mas maliit pala, 355. No? Yung present value. Kasi mas mataas yung required return. Okay. Alright. So ganun din dito. It's equal to negative uh, PB. Rate is this time 17.39%. Six na 10. Kama, N per is 1. Kama, future value is 450. Okay, i-ano ko lang ito, i-bold. Then I copy this. Okay, so this is equal to, sum up natin ito. What do you notice, Angela? What do you notice the NPV if we're using the IRR rate of return? Same sila sir, input and output. Zero, no? It's zero. Kaya others would define IRR. IRR is that rate of return which yields and NPV equal to zero. Yeah. So at the IRR, your NPV is equal to zero. So in other words, pag ito yung weighted average cost of capital natin, uh, indifferent ka whether to pursue the project or not. What do I mean by indifferent? Kasi NPV mo naman zero. Eh. Zero. Oh, so indifferent ka whether to pursue mm -hmm. the project or not. So that's uh, a very important uh, note na, na ang IRR is that rate of return where the NPV is equal to zero. And if NPV conflicts with IRR, you choose always NPV because uh, sa NPV naman, sa NPV, ang assumption mo, hindi mo rin reinvest to at IRR, but you reinvest it at, sabi natin kanina, you reinvest it at 12 points at the weighted average cost of capital. So, ipakita natin dito yun. Okay, that's why there's another function called MIRR. Okay, so this is the modified internal rate of return. The same concept as the IRR. The only difference is that here, you reinvest, dito, reinvest at the weighted average cost of capital. Dito, so IRR, you reinvest at IRR. So whatever your IRR is, yun ang reinvestment rate mo dito. Okay. So which is theoretically, ano, parang uh, theoretically may, may flaw, may mali dun sa concept ng IRR. Kaya nga, that's why I said that NPV is the more correct method by virtue of the assumption of what is the reinvestment rate. So sa IRR, ang reinvestment rate is the IRR mismo. Sa NPV naman, ang, uh, sorry, sa MIRR, sa so Modified Internal Rate of Return, ang reinvestment rate is the weighted average cost of capital. Okay, so let's, let's do this. No? So pareho lang din to. Okay, uh, we just use MIRR. So may direct formula sa Excel na MIRR. Uh, returns, internal rate of return. Okay, of periodic cash flows considering both cost of investment and interest on the investment of cash. So, kailangan yun, no? Okay, sige. So, what are our values? Again, kasama natin to. Lahat ng cash flows natin. Okay, kama. Okay, what is our finance rate? Our finance rate is our WAC. Ito yung WAC natin. Kama. The investment rate is our WAC pa rin. WAC also. WAC also. Okay. Pag ano, pag, uh, pag ginamit natin dyan yung IRR, ang makukuha natin yung IRR mismo. I'll show in a while. Okay. So this is now your uh, MIRR. So if we're computing for IRR, using the MIRR, ito mangyayari, no? It's equal to MIRR. Okay. Values natin to. Kama. 
finance rate is 12.6, comma, and then what's our investment rate? Uh, let's use this, yung IRR. Yeah. What you'll get is the IRR. 18.23. Okay, so that's what happens when you compute for IRR. You are assuming that the uh, reinvestment rate is IRR itself. Okay, so based on MIRR, si project Y is 15.45%, and then si project Z is equal to MIRR. Okay, values. Okay, we have to include the initial cash flow. Okay, comma. Finance rate is 12.6, comma. Finance rate is, the investment rate is also 12.6. Okay, now, what do you see? Sinin pipili in based on MIRR? Si Project Z. Project Z na, okay? So notice na kapag ginamit natin si MIRR, we are now consistent with NPV. Using... Using MIRR, use project, which is consistent with NPV. Okay, so MIRR and NPV will always be the same. Kaya nga, they, uh, kaya nga uh, we are coming up with this MIR as a better alternative to IRR, especially when IRR and NPV conflicts. Pag hindi naman sila nagko-conflict, walang problema. It's only when they conflict that we resort to the MIRR, the Modified Internal Rate of Return. Okay, question so far, Angela? Ang wala ko, sir. Okay, so ito yun, no? Actually, ito yun, sinabi natin, yung conflict nila. So, for example, this is just a, a another sir. example, no? So, this is equal to NPV. Okay. 12%. Kitsa na natin to. Kama. Pwede ko to i-answer? Ah, sige, sige. Oh, sige. Good, good. O, kala ko kasi hindi, ko, hindi mo pa maano eh. Sige, answer mo. Sige. Ay, hindi, sir. I, I mean as after po neto. Ah, sige, sige. As exercise, sige. Yes, sir. O, isasubmit mo na lang. Tama, sige. Para, ano, para activity mo na to, no? Okay, sir. Okay, sige. Ang gagawin mo dyan. Okay, sagutin mo. Sir, ano yung CAGR? Ah, yun. Yung, what's, what's CAGR? Compounded Annual Growth Rate. Okay, so handali. Ha? Ilagay ko muna dito. Ilagay mo rin dito MIRR. Yes, MIRR. Sama natin dito. Hindi natin nasama. Yan. MIRR. Okay, then here. Okay. So, papakita mo dito yung future value using IRR. Magkaiba yata ito. I wait. Uh, these are two different problems pala. No? Okay. Problem A, problem B. Okay, dito. So you're being asked for the future value using IRR. Tapos ito, future value at WAC. No? Ibigay ba yung WAC? Wala, sir. Okay na lang natin ito. Guard na lang ito. Oh, 12% na lang din. So this is your WAC or your K. Hmm? Required return FB para mas clear at Okay. And then, pinapa, una pinapahanap sa iyo yung IRR uh, and then what's KGAR? Okay, KGAR is the com uh, compound annual growth. I'll show you the formula. Tapos ikaw mag-solve ba? Okay. 
Right, so we know, so back to dito. Okay, based on We know that the relationship between future value is equal to present value times one plus R raised to the T. Okay, future value, present value, R. So yung KGAR, we're interested. So we're starting with six, two, six. Para masyado mali ito. Wait, ah, nandali, Angela. Let me check. But parang ang liit masyado. 6, 2. Tapos ito agad yung ano. Uh, maybe uh, let's let's modify this a bit. Something's wrong here. Let, let me check. Huh? Ayos ko lang itong monitor ko. Okay, so, gawin na lang natin itong ano. Nawala. Let's make this to 86 siguro. To 96. Okay, so 96260. Okay, you start with 96260 and then you end at 4. Mm -hmm. Wait. Dale, Angela, mukhang, mukhang mali itong project na to. Ah. Okay, Gar. Sige, pwede na rin, no? Kaso, hindi pa pwede itong negative na to. Hala. Negative to, tapos positive to. Hindi pa pwede. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Ilipat natin si Kgar. I'll just create another problem. Sorry, mali siya. Hindi siya pwede dito. Okay, let me just generate. I'll call this uh, C. Computing for Kgar. So let's say, kunyari, meron kang uh, simple, simplehan lang natin. Ha? Kunyari, 125 muna. Okay. Tapos naging tumaas, naging 128. Tapos bumaba, naging 123. Tapos tumaas, naging 129. Tapos naging 132. Yan. Yan lang gawin natin. Okay. The task here is to compute for your uh, compounded annual growth rate. Ano yung compounded annual growth rate? So if you're going to start at 125, tapos mag end ka at 132, okay, ano yung constant growth rate? Uh, ano yung constant growth rate? Ibig sabihin, from 125, your cash flow uh, grows uh, to 128, tapos it grows again, tapos it grows again, and then it grows again, so that magiging 132 na siya. So sa, sa KGAR, sa compound annual growth rate, ang interest mo lang yung beginning at saka yung ending. Gusto mo malaman kung, kung uh, ano yung growth rate para magsimula ka sa 125 para maging 132 ka. So you use this. No? You use this formula. Ang future value mo, itong 132. Ang present value mo, itong 125. Ang sinusolve mo dyan, ito. Okay? So, ito yung gagamitin mo dyan, Angela. Ito, no? ito. 
So the challenge for you is to determine ano yung R na to. Okay? So, uh, I'll leave that as an exercise. Ha? Bahala ako kung paano mo malalaman itong ano, yung R. And, and trying question, is that the same as the rate? No? Pareho ba ng rate yan? So, para ma-check mo, in order to check that, uh, you'll have to uh, look at the cash flow. And then, magsisimula ka sa 125. Okay. Okay, and then you let it grow by, kunyari, ang, kunyari ang na-solve mo ganito ha, kunyari ang na-solve mo sa KGAR example lang ha, kunyari 5% siya. How will you now check na tama yung 5%? So magsisimula tayo sa 125, then we let it grow by the KGAR. So let me, let's give this a name. Control Shift F3, uh, left column. So tama ang pangalan nito, KGAR. Okay. Uh, so this is equal to now, from 125 times, we let it grow by your KGAR, 1 plus your KGAR, which is the 5%, no? Yan. Uh, kuha mo, Angela? Yes, sir. So magsisimula ka sa 125, let it grow by KGAR. Okay, so magiging 131 siya. Sir, tapos pag nag-end siya sa 132. Dapat okay. mag-end siya sa 132. Uh -huh. So ito, 1, 151, ibig sabihin mali yun, no? Uh -huh. So mali yung KGAR na yun. So it should be a number lower than that. No? Oh, oh. So ang challenge sa'yo, hanapin mo kung ano tong kager na to. There are several ways to do this. Pag 3%, hindi pa rin. 2%, hindi pa rin. Pero syempre, hindi mo gagawin iisa-isa yun. Yes, diba? Matagal yun. Okay, so that's a challenge for you. Ha? So hanapin mo yung kager. That's the uh, concept of compound annual growth rate. Okay. So, sige, iwan natin to. Ha? Punta tayo dito. Uh, clear ka dito, Angela? So, tingnan mo kung will it be the rate function? Kasi di ba may rate function tayo, di ba? Is the rate function the same as your KGAR that you have to that you have to check, no? You have to check that kung yung rate function na yan, pareho ba yan dun sa KGAR? Or, kasi ito dapat ang formula na gagamitin mo, no? How do you now solve for R? Okay, you should let your your uh, value now grow up to your future value at at this rate, given this period. Okay, so here we have unequal lives. Okay, here unequal lives. You have projects that have uh, different time frames. So, pag tinin natin kung yung kunyari NPV. Kunin natin NPV ng bawat isa. How do you now compare projects with un unequal lives? Tapos how do you rank them? Kasi hindi mo naman sabi natin, di ba, hindi natin pwedeng i-add to eh. At saka how do you compare them? Kasi magkakapareho yung, uh, magkakaiba yung time frame nila. So to do that, uh, kunin mo natin NPV. Rate, 12%, pareho lang. Oops. And then values, sabi natin, hindi natin isasama yung una. Okay. Isama kong lahat to. Anyway, zero naman yung nasa dulo nito. And then plus this one. Okay. So that we can copy the formula to the right. So based on NPV, Angela, sino yung mas preferred? Equal. Hmm? Letter D. Oo, letter D. No? Kasi pinakamataas yung ano niya, yung NPV. Kaso, how can that be eh, eight years yung ano eh, yung eight years si D eh? Diba? Yes. So hindi mo naman pwede compare si D at saka si, si, ano, si uh, B. Kasi mas lugi si B kasi four years lang siya. Okay, the long cut to do it is this way. Kunyari, ganito gagawin natin. Control C, Control V. Ang gagawin natin, parang at the end of the project, uulitin mo na naman si, si B. Control C, 
control B. If you repeat B, starting at the end of the, the life, magiging eight years din siya, no? Okay, so, tinan natin ha. This is equal to sum natin. So, parang anong nangyari kay B, parang dinoble mo lang siya para maging 8 years siya. So, ito yung parang equivalent cash flow niya. Kuha mo, Angela? Rating ko, ha? So, this is Project B. Since Project B has uh, has only 4 years, 4 year life lang siya, you cannot compare that with, uh, with D kasi 8 years si D. Eh. So, in order to make them comparable, parang dodoblihin mo yung life ni B. Okay, so parang simula ka dito, tapos at the end of this, magsisimula ka na naman kay B. Okay, and now, na-convert mo na siya into, into an 8-year project. So, add lang natin. Pwede natin i-add to ito. Pwede natin i-add kasi same, same time frame na yan. Parehong time frame na yan. Okay? Yes, sir. So you can now get the net present value of this. Which incidentally, if you get the net present value of that, rate at 12%, comma, values natin ito, plus the initial investment. So kung dinoble natin si Project B, ito yung magiging, yes, ano niya? Okay. Ito yung magiging NPV niya. Okay? Ganun din kay A. Kaso kay A, hindi natin pwedeng doblehin lang kasi magiging 12 years to. Hahanapan natin din to. The dog, parang dapat hahanap tayo na paulit-ulit yung project nila yes, sir. para tapos equal yung time nila. No? Ito 6 at saka ano, this is 8. So ibig sabihin nun, kukunin natin yung ano, yung at uh, least common denominator nila in th that case 6 and 8 that's uh, that's 24 no? 24 yung common sa kanila so gagawin mo rin tong uulitin mo nang tatlong beses si 8 si uh, A uulitin mo nang four times eh maano yun ma, ma mabusisi yun kasi hahanapan mo rin tulad nito si C pwede bang siyang 5 ah, pwede ba siyang 24 hindi so hahanapin mo yung yung algebra niyo dati, hahanapin mo yung least common denominator, no? uh, so the shortcut is i-annualize natin yung ano, yung i-annualize natin yung net present value nila. No? So how do you do that? Uh, you have to divide annualize it the present value uh, interest factor of an annuity. Okay. Okay, let me introduce this, no? To analyze this NPVs, ang gagamitin natin, i-divide natin siya ng present, present value interest factor of an annuity. Okay, what's this? Okay, ganito yan. Huh? So for instance, si Project A, Si Project A, timeline, what do we not then? So Project A has zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, present value interest factor of an annuity of one. And a complete name. Okay, we look at six years. Tapos annuity siya. No? Annuity siya na 6 years okay, na 1 to 1. 1 each. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Kukunin natin yung present value niya. Okay? So ganun din si, ito si 4. No? Okay. 
two, three, four. So my annuity ka na na one. Tapos kunin mo yung present value niya. Tapos ganun din si 5 at saka si 8. Kuha mo, Angela. Ganun yung concept. No? So we look at the uh, present value. Convert, hanapin natin yung present value ng annuity of 1 each for, for all. No? So madali lang yun. Alam natin yan. So sa Excel, it's just equal to is equal to uh, negative PV, present value. Gawin natin negative para maging positive yung answer. Ang rate natin is pare-pareho, it's 12%. Fix natin to. N per, ano yung N per natin? Yung sa time, sir. Uh, N per natin is, sandali, paano natin makakapi to na, okay. So dito, Lagyan natin dito, no? N per. N per natin for for uh, ah, pwede natin gawin ganito. Ah, ang N per ni ano? Ang N per ni A ilan? Six siya, di ba? Si B, four. Si C, five. Ito, eight. Pwede natin gawin ganito. It's equal to negative PV. Rate is a 12%. Pare-pareho sa lahat. M per is, pwede kong gamitin yung count A. Count A function. Ito, count A function counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So, ipapakount ko kay Excel ito. From 1 up to 8. Okay? So, pag bilangin niya yan, tinan mo, pag bilangin niya to, F9, Oh, six, tama na bilang niya. No? Okay, right. Ang binilang niya, control Z, ang binilang niya, yung hindi, yung hindi empty. That's the count A function. Okay, PMT is what? One. Kasi annuity of one. Then, walang future value. Ignore future value. Ignore type kasi ordinary annuity yan. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Alright, so ano tong 4.11 na to? This is the equivalent present value of your six 6, 1 peso annuity for 6 years. Ang ano niya, equivalent niya na present value 4.11. We can copy this. Yan. We can copy that. Check natin formula. Alright. Count A. Ang binilang niya yung apat lang. Ito. And then this one. Okay. So we now have the annualized net present value. Ngayon, Pwede natin kunin si annualized na. Okay, so this is your annualized net present value. Tapos pag annualized net present value na, pwede natin siya i-compare. No? Unlike dito, hindi natin siya pwede i-compare kasi para magkakaiba yung time frame niya. Okay, so the net present value divided by the present value interest factor. Yan. Okay, yan na. Okay na tayo. So you can now compare the different projects with an equal lives. Okay? So ano yung project, ano yung project of choice dyan, Angela? Letter B. Letter B. This one. By virtue of having the higher ano, higher ano. Ang, may finals ka, Angela, para may basis sign ng grade. Although mataas naman yung ano uh, sure. Ang finals mo, yung ganito din, same as ano, same as uh, eh, para may may mapakita lang ako na ano na nag-finals tayo. Kasi sure. baka hanapan ako i so may documentation ako, ha. Sure. Ano naman yun, saka take home naman at saka yun, I'll give you enough time to work on it. At saka din ano, learning na rin para ano para yes, sure. review na rin for you. Kasi itong mga to gagamitin mo talaga yan sa ano mo, sa fin subjects mo, no? Are you finals one problem per ano per lesson? Ano no, sorry? Yung finals one problem per lesson. Ah, uh, hindi naman ah uh, siguro isa dun sa op, isa dun sa ano sa portfolio, isa siguro dito sa ano. Is com combined to dun sa mga similar classes. Oo. Ah, uh, anyway, Angela, may notes mo gagayahin mo lang naman yung pattern. 
Okay. So, okay na tayo dito ha. Pag ano equal lives, uh, ano, uh, you, you compute for the NPV, kaso hindi nga sila pwede i-compare, you're comparing apples and oranges. So we have to get the present value interest factor of an annuity of one. <coughs> okay, yun ang gagawin natin divisor to annualize the NPV. So we're saying here that the annualized NPV for project B is highest among the four options. So project B is the best option. Having the highest ANPV, annualized net pressure. Okay. Any questions? Okay, then let's go to multiple IRRs. Okay, this will be our last lesson for the day. And then, yung next, set na lang natin sa Saturday, Angela. Ano na lang yun? Siguro mga one and a half hours na lang yun. One and a half to two hours. Max na nun ng two hours. Morning, sir, or afternoon? Uh, ang preference ko, morning. Okay, Ikaw, sir. pwede ka ng morning? Oh, yes po. Oo, kasi... Uh, grabe yung schedule ko bukas at saka sa Friday. Tuloy-tuloy talaga. So, Saturday na lang. Ng, kung kaya natin ng uh, para masyado yata maagay yung 7. 8 o'clock, okay, kaya? Yes, sir. <coughs> ha? Yes, sir. Siguro kahit mga or. Tingnan natin, ha? 7.30 to 9 or 8, 8 to 9.30. They're about yun. Kasi ang natitira okay, na lang topics yung uh, natitira na lang topics na yung, yung WAC how to compute for the weighted average cost of capital. And then, uh, maglagay na rin ako ng, ano, ng stock and bond valuation. Madali lang yung stock and bond valuation kasi uh, parang cash flow lang siya. So, meron lang tayo mga dividends na infinite uh, yung Gordon model. And pag Excel kasi, madali nang computing yun. Ang importante doon na intindihan yung concept. Okay, last. Multiple IRRs. Okay, ano itong multiple IRRs? Sometimes a project can have uh, multiple IRRs. Huh? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Parang may kulang pa ako isang topic dito. Mamaya, tignan natin. Ito muna, multiple IRRs. Ah, ano ko na, yung NPV profile. Idagdag na lang natin yun, kakayanan natin ngayon. At least 8.45 tayo. Okay. Now, tignan mo itong cash flow na ito, Angela. Insert nga ako dito para ano. Para... Okay. Take a look at this. Meron siyang initial outflow sa simula. Usually, usually ganyan naman talaga yan. Pero towards the end or intermediate, meron pa siyang outflow ulit. So, Usually pag ganyan, kapag nagkakaroon ka ng outflow at the beginning and sa intermediate net outflow, uh, possibly magkakaroon ka ng, ano, ng dalawang IRR. Okay, let's, let's try that first. So if, I, if we get the IRR, okay, values, okay. So the first IRR is 3.91%. Okay. How do you check na tamang IRR yan? Well, you can use the NPV using the rate function, rate, uh, using, the, uh, using that one as your IRR as your rate values from year one and then plus ito, plus the year zero. Okay. Zero nga, no? Zero. So sabi natin, di ba, ang Ang, the NPV is uh, the IRR is that rate of return where your NPV is zero. So, tama nga ito. No? Pero, kasi meron kang negative uh, outflow uh, negative outflow dito sa ano, sa sandali ah. Sandali, okay. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Angela, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So, 3.91 yung isa, no? Sabi natin, merong ano yan, merong pang IRR ulit yan kasi uh, merong pang ano, merong pang outflow again, intermediate, either sa dulo or between uh, the beginning and the end. So how do you determine that? IRR ulit, okay, values, ito na naman, no? And then dito na papasok yung guess. So guess, lagyan natin ng higher than 3.99, kunyari 10%. Ay, mali, mali. Sorry. IRR pala ito. Sorry. Dapat lahat. Okay. Put a guess. Wala pa rin. No? 3.91 pa rin. So, taasan natin ng konti. Taasan natin. Gawin natin 20%. Ayun. Yun na. Kuha mo, Angela. Yes, a guess kahit ano naman. Basta Oo. Hindi kahit ano na yan. Ka uh, so, kaya a guess siya. Lower. Oh, wag lower kasi pag lower yan, kunyari 1%, ang ibibigay niyan yung ano yung yung 3.91 pa rin. Ayun oh, 3.91. In fact, kung ginawa lang natin 10%, hindi pa rin niya kinaya, di ba? 3.91 pa rin siya. Pero nung ginawa kong 20 20%, yun, nakuha na niya yung ano yung yung IRR. So, this only happens when you have a cash flow where you have a negative one at the beginning and negative another negative in between or nasa dulo so it turns out that 30.28 is also a an IRR let's check it's equal to the way to check this is to get the NPV using this as your rate values NPV dapat year 1 ang simula okay. plus the initial cash flow there. Zero din siya. No? Okay, so both IRRs will give us the same NPV zero. Kaya pareho IRR talaga yung dalawang yan. Okay, so again, kailan, nang, 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 kailan nagkakaroon ng multiple IRRs? Pag meron kang negative cash flow, usually sa beginning talaga meron kasi investment yan eh. Paglalabas ka talaga ng pera. Tapos also may negative uh, cash out, net cash outflow in the middle or at the end, no? or towards the end. And we just proved that uh, dalawa yung IRR nito. 3.91 at saka 30.98. Okay. So gawa natin to ng ano, ng i-plot natin. I-plot natin yung IRR natin. So let's start with 0% increment of, mag-increment na lang tayo ng 2%. No? Hanggang 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, Kahit hanggang 40% na lang. So if you recall that, uh, fill, okay, series, rows, starting dito, and increments of, by columns tayo, increments of 2%. Ayan. Dito, dito, dito yung active cell natin. No? Okay. So dito, let Fill series by columns. Step value is 2%. Stop at, oh sorry, nakalimutan akong stop at uh, 40%. No? Stop at 40% na lang. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, pinasok na niya yung 40% dito. Hanggang 40. Tapos, ipasok natin si ano, Pasok natin itong si 30.28. So 30.28 is here between 30 and 32. No? So ibaba natin to. Okay. It's equal to this one. Oh, sorry, may kulang pa tayo. Ipasok din natin si, si 3.91. Ipasok natin dito. All right, what am I doing? Uh, sinama na, sinama ko dito, in-insert ko yung IRR natin na dalawa. Okay? So, so ang NPV natin, ah, natin dito, NPV.
So si NPV natin is based dito sa IRR na to, no? Right? So ang gagawin natin, naalala mo yung data table, Angela. Papafill up pa natin kay kay Excel to. Papafill up pa natin yung NPV by changing this 3.9 to 1 na to. Okay? So, ano NPV natin? It's equal to this one. Uh, oh wait, mali ito. Okay. So, ang sinasabi natin kay Excel, <clears throat> Uh, palitan niya to, itong IRR1 na to, palitan niya ng 0 to lahat ng mga values dito. Tapos ang isulat niya dito, i-return niya dito, ito. Ano tong ito? Kasi kung palitan mo tong IRR dito, what will happen? Pagpalitan natin yung IRR dito, mababago tong ano, mababago tong NPV dito, di ba? Kasi the NPV is linked to your IRR here. So if you change okay. this, kunyari, palitan ko ito ng 4%, magbabago itong MPV, di ba? Yes, if you change. Kita mo, naging 0.18 siya. Kinapi niya uh -huh. dito. Tapos kunyari, 5% ito, nag-change ito. No? Okay? Yes, okay. So, let's... Uh, as Excel to fill this up, highlight natin to. Iyan ako muna, inbox ko muna. Highlight everything. Okay, then data. Tapos what if analysis, data table. Okay, row input cell or column input cell? <clears throat> it is column, no? Kasi column pa column yung data natin. <clears throat> column input cell natin is in other words ang gagawin ni, ni ano ni ni Excel ililipat niya tong mga to dito yan so papalitan niya ng 0 yan papalitan niya ng 2 ng 3.91 tapos whatever this is ilalagay niya dito yon kaya Angela no yes, okay there Ayos sila natin form na pala. Control 1. Natin number. Ayos sila natin. Ayan. Okay, so those are your net present values. Tina mo, Angela, a 3.9, oh, but 4.25 to. Wait, dapat 0 to 1. So why is this 4.25? Ah, wait, wait, mali ito. Dapat, mali, dapat, dapat tinipe ko lang to, no? Dali, 3.9, Angela, mali yung ano ah. Uh, Lining ko siya dito, mamali yung kasi magbabago-bago to eh. So dapat to, 3.0973%. Just copy it to four decimal places. Tapos ito din, mali ito. Lining natin kaya mali. 30.28. 30.28. Dapat nakatype lang siya. Right, ulitin ko ah. Uh, data, what if analysis, data table, column. Okay, yan. Hmm, hindi pa rin, bakit? C13, tama. 3.10. 3.10 ba ito kanina? Three 
Tama, 3.9 Ay, 3.973 Ako mali ito 3.9 pala 9 3.9 0.73 Yan Yan, tama na Mag 0 na siya Okay? So yes, we have these two IRRs na sabi natin na zero yung net present value niyan. Kasi by definition, IRR uh, has an NPV. <clears throat> At IRR, the net present value is equal to uh, zero. So we can now plot this. Plot na natin to. Insert natin to. Insert. Yan. So you see, Angela, and dito yung ano, ito yung NPV, no? yun natin ang ano, ng axis label. Axis titles. NPV siya. Okay. Axis title is equal to lock. Yan. Okay, look at the NPV, the IRR plot niya. Hmm? So dito, this is 3.91. Hmm? Yes, sir. This is 30 point something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kita mo, at these two IRRs, at these two uh, WAC, hmm? your net present mm -hmm. value is zero. Mm -hmm. So kitang kita natin dito. Hmm? Okay. So, natin, chart title, lagyan lang natin. Uh, ano ba pwede natin ilagyan ng title dito? Wala pala ako nilagay. Ito na multiple IRRs. And this one is equal to multiple IRRs. Yan. Okay? Ano siya, no? Yes, sir. Multiple IRRs. Okay, good. Then last, uh, copy na lang natin itong cash flow na to. Sorry, hindi ko na-include na to. Dapat kasama pa. Copy ko na lang muna to. Ito sa dulo. Yan. Okay. Alright. Yung last lesson natin, sorry, hindi ko nalagay ito. NPV profile. This is 12%. 12.6 ba? 12.6 eh. Pareho lang naman 12.6. No? Okay, what we're going to do here is Gagawa tayo ng NPV profile. Ano yung NPV profile? What will happen if the NPV, ah, uh, the... What will happen to your decision if the WAC uh, changes? No? Kung hindi, kung yung WAC, hindi 12.6%. Kasi yung decision natin na si Project Z ang, ang ano yun, ang ang piliin. It's based on the fact that the WAC is 12.6%. Lagyan natin ang NPV dito. NPV computation. So this is equal to NPV. Tapos ang rate natin, 12.6%. Kama, 
value natin is this one plus this. Yan. Oops. Okay, then we can copy this. Okay, so ito yung NPV nila, no? These are their NPVs. Now, uh, it's all dependent on the, you know, the WAC. Paano kung ang WAC nila 13%? Siyempre, para din dapat to 13%. Okay, ang gawin natin isang WAC lang. No? Gawin natin to. Uh, this one, i-fix natin. Tapos, copy natin dito. Okay. So, originally, 12.6% on. Okay. So, our decision was uh, use Tama. B4 B7 B6 B4 A decision natin si project Z Paano kung magbabago yung WAC? So gawan ulit natin ng data table no? So let's create also uh, 0% Okay, parang yung kanina, gawa tayo ng, ng series in columns from uh, interest, uh, 2% na lang yung ano, tapos hanggang 30%. Okay. Yan. Tapos ipasok din natin si IRR. Ano IRR nito? Equal to IRR values. Okay. <coughs> Tapos MIRR values fixed. Okay, mga review lang to, Angela, no? Okay, gagawa tayo ng NPV profile. Parang yung kanina, papakumpute din natin yung NPV. <coughs> Tapos, uh, let's see. Uh, ipasok natin si IRR. Saan papasok si IRR? Yung isa dito, 18.23 one nine percent up to is a seventeen point three nine one six percent okay up was an IRR not in fifteen point four five 15.4518%. So, and 15.5. percent Pinasok ko lang, Angela, yung mga ano, ano. Sinama ko yung MIRR, IRR. Okay? And then we're going to is equal to NPV ni Project L. Ito, NPV ni Project Z. Okay. So ang gagawin natin, sasabihin natin kay Excel, pakicompute yung mga 
ano nila, nagdagan pa nga natin, siguro 36. Pakicompute yung mga NPVs nila, okay, by replacing itong WAC na to by 0%, etc. Okay, so we can now do the uh, sensitivity analysis for this. Okay, uh, data. And then data table. Again, row input, data. So ang gagawin ni Arjan, ni Excel, papalitan niya kung ano man yung lumabas sa NPV dito kay Project Y, ilalagay niya dito. There. No? Mabilis, ano? Control 1. Okay. Number. Para mas klaro. Buk ko lang ito. Para. Ay, ano yung yan? Eighteen point twenty three. What's the name of that one? IRR eighteen point twenty three. May ano na may butal at sa ka seventeen point thirty nine. Nagjo may butal siya. Kasi renowned of natin ano? Renowned of kasi natin itong mga values sa ito. Kaya hindi naging exact itong ano. Hindi siya naging exact itong... Kung tanggalin mo yung decimal place. Okay, hindi. Hindi, na. hindi siya naging exact itong zero. So, pero practically, parang zero na rin siya. Alright. So, i-plot na natin to So, plot ko to Insert. Yeah. Okay, this is now your NPV profile. Yeah. Ah, tanggalin ko na lang yung Okay, so uh, this is equal to, it's your NPV profile. Okay, Angela, tingnan mo ito ha. Uh, dapat nalagyan natin ng ano, no? ng, hindi natin nalagyan ng series name. Si, si series 1, sino itong blue? Project Y ata kasi. Oo nga. Hindi ko nalagyan ako. Dapat nilagyan natin ng, ng label. What we can do is, ganito na lang. Control C. Values. Copy the values na lang. Kinapi ko as values. Nilalagyan ko dito ng project y Yan. Okay. 
Ilagay mo ng pangalan. Tanggalin natin ito. Okay. So, ang importante dito, Angela, okay, yung conclusion natin dito. Ang tawag dito, dito sa point na to, you notice na si Project Z, yung NPV niya, mas mataas kaysa kay Project L up to a certain point, no? Yun. Yes, Tapos beyond that point, mas mataas na si Project Y. Kaso, up to a certain point lang. Kasi, after, uh, kunyari, si, ano, si, si, uh, si Y, uh, where does it touch the uh, zero? Dito sa IRR niya. 18.23 percent, di ba? Di ba ang IRR? That is the uh, that is the rate of return where uh, the uh, NPV is zero. So ito si Y yung blue at 18.23 percent zero siya. Mm -hmm. Samantalang si Z at 17.39 na una siya ano? At 17.39 yung orange naging zero na siya. So kailangan mag-conclude tayo dito, ano? Kailangan isummarize natin yung Conclusion natin, equal to NPV profile. Okay. Sorry natin, NPV profile for project, project Y and project Z. Okay, that's our title. So, conclusion natin for WAC less than or equal to plus project Z. For WAC between blank or uh, <clears throat> okay, direct yung muna. Okay, ang question kasi, kailan natin pipili in GZ? Kailan? Ito, dito sa, ano, dito sa, ang tawag dyan, yung crossover point, no? Sa crossover point, ang pipiliin natin si, si ano project project ano uh, le, less than the crossover point choose Z at the crossover point indifferent tayo. What do I mean by that? Bakit indifferent? Kasi pareho lang yung NPV nila. At this point yung na intersection na to Pareho lang yung NPV nila. So, we don't care kung, kung sino yung pipiliin. No? So, ang challenge ngayon, hanapin si crossover point. Ano yung crossover point na yan? Yan. Well, that's easy. Okay? Kasi at that point, your NPV is equal to zero. No? So, gawa natin. No? So, I'll copy this formula. Here. Dito na lang. NPV. Yan. Okay. So ang gusto natin, Angela, dapat dapat zero to. Hmm? Dapat zero to. Yung difference dapat ng NPV nila, zero. Ibig sabihin, pareho lang silang NPV. So, indifferent tayo doon. Whether you choose Project Y or Project Z. So, very quickly now, turo ko lang kung paano, ano, anyway, nakarecord yun naman to. So, gagamitin natin, ginamit natin da na dati, yung naalala mo to, yung goal seek. Yan, goal seek. So, set cell equal to what? Set cell equal to 
set this cell equal to zero mm -hmm. okay, by changing by changing what cell? Yan. So palitan niya to, hanapin niya tong walk na to para yung difference nila zero. Okay? Ah, I see. Control alt and screen. Ayan, 16.32. Control G. Yan, pinasok ko dito ah. Yes, sir. Yan, para ano. So, to determine... Crossover point. Ayan. So, crossover point is 16.32%. Okay? So, pwede natin isama dito yan. Dito sa kinapi-paste natin na table. Kasi, Angela, ang, ang data table, hindi mo pwede yung dagdagan yan. No? Kasi mm -hmm. naka-fix na yan. Ito yung kinapi-paste natin. Pwede natin dagdagan ito. Pwede yung kong percent. No? So, ipasok natin ito. Dagdag natin si 16.32. Asan si 16.32? It will be here. Ayan. Dagdagan nga natin, wait. Dagdagan ko lang ng decimal places kasi 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 9, 7. Para mas exact po, 16.32, 1, 9, 7. There. Ayan. So, ano yung NPV nito? Pareho, control C. Values lang. Okay. Para lang i-plot mo ulit to. Ganun din naman yan. Okay. Tanggalin ko yung mga points kasi ay kung ganito lang. Ay wala. Sorry. Ayan. Okay, better this one. Ayan. Kasi yung mga points nakaka nakakalito eh. Okay. And okay. So last, last one minute. And okay. So there. So kailangan mo lang mag-conclude, Angela. No? So for WAC, uh, for ito kasi yung ano natin, yung crossover point natin to. For WAC, Less than 16.32, sinong pipiliin? Si Project Z. No? Kasi mas mataas yung NPV ni, ano, ni Project Z. So dito mo natitinan sa table yan. Okay. So ang conclusion natin, for WAC less than 16.32%. Mm. 16.32%. Okay. Choose Z. Ah, sorry, hindi ito less siya. Hindi ito equal to. For equal to, pag equal to, may percent dapat. Sorry. May percent dapat to. Pag equal to, ano? Choose project Z or project Y. Okay? Ang tawag natin dyan, indifference point. So you're indifferent. Kahit na si Z or Y, piliin mo. It doesn't matter. Tapos for WAC. Okay. So tinan na lang natin dito. For WAC, greater than... 
uh, 16.32 hanggang 17.39. Sino na? Hanggang 17.39. Si Project, ano? Ah, and then, sorry, hanggang hanggang 18.23 pala. Hanggang dito. Okay. Hanggang dito, si Project, ano na? Project, Project L. Okay. Beyond 18.23, reject na pareho. Uh, yes, okay, kasi dito, ito zero na si ano dito, no? zero na si, si L, ah, si Y pala. So, para matapos ito. For walk, uh, for ano yun? 16.32% stand walk at saka 18 point ano? 18.23 choose why beyond 18.23 reject so that's the conclusion na gusto natin no? mm. ang tawag dito Angela NPV profile, net present value profile Okay. So sa exam mo, okay. kailangan kailangan ganito yung ano, ah, ganito yung yung conclusion, no? Okay? Ito yung may Mike? graph din, sir. Sorry? Magagraph din, sir. Oo, dapat may graph kasi okay. Siyempre iba yung may graph din, makikita mo talaga yung yung galaw. Mas maganda tong graph na to kasi nakakalito yung mga points dito, eh. So, yes, sir. Pwede pa naman pa ayo, ayos but this is a lot better. Okay, so that's it, no? Angela Dami tayo na-accomplish yes, ngayon. Isa-save ko ito, tapos ipopost ko, ha? Tapos oh, that yes, leaves sir. us with the last two topics, which we can finish in uh, one and a half. One to one and a half, depende sa pace natin. At the motion, yes, two hours, na? No? And that wraps up the term. Okay, gawin mo itong yes, ano, ha? Yung... Tapos isend mo, ha? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige, any questions? Sir, yung last time din na may pinaka-answer tayo, same Excel file na lang. Ah, uh, sorry? Yung last time din, sir, na yung NPV na exercise, same ano na lang. Oh, sige, sige. Okay. Same sige. exercise. All right. Sige, Angela. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sige. Okay. See you on Saturday. Yes, sir.